Hi, I just kind of woke up, kind of did it, kind of did. I'm having acid reflux, my body's like, feed me. Some steak, some steak and french fries with special dips. And we're also having some kombucha that I got from Publix. Hi. <laughs> oh my God, so we're just gonna like hang out. This is really nothing. Oh, I don't wanna get this, this is more so fun. okay. Can you see, do you wanna see this food? Probably. There we go, yay. All right, cheers. Now this stuff tastes like beer. Orly really likes this one. I don't. It's like drinking straight up beer. I would never know. Really I'm not a beer drinker. So some of you are like Nick. You're stupid. <laughs> Just add to it. All right, let's eat. Hmm. This is a little snack. Hmm. Mm. A little snack. Oh, I love that he got all these zips. Mm. I mean, excuse me, the people in the comments are like, please eat healthy. And there could be like a thousand comments, but how many views do I get? 200,000, 300,000, 100,000. What's 1,000 out of 200,000? Half of 1%. Oh my God. It takes like 3,000 to 4,000, depending on your channel. Views to make a dollar. So, oh, let me make a dollar. I eat healthy for those. 5,000 people that want to see me eat it. <laughs> mm. <sighs> okay. Got a steak knife and everything. Oh my god. So what is up? What are you guys doing? Enabling my fatness. Supporting my ass. <laughs> you guys, oh my god. I feel like I need to host like a like a party. Oh, this will wobble. I need to host like a Nikocado fan club party. Enablers. <laughs> Hopefully this is good steak. I love steak. And Orlin heated up on the stove, not, the, not like any other way. Like he, he heated up the way you're supposed to. Not the lazy way. You're supposed to reheat it in the fat that comes out of it, so. That is what he did. Let's try it. I love the flavor of beef. I wish it wasn't so bad for the environment, but fuck, I love it. I don't really have like straight up good quality beef often though. I don't even do it for YouTube. I have ground beef, which is full of soy filler. Did you know that? A lot of that fast food, the chicken nuggets, some of that's not even all chicken. This is why I've gone mental. <laughs> People are like, oh my God, you're such, such an actor. I'm like, no, I'm actually mental now. Mm. Mm. I don't know what to eat today. I'm really craving, craving ramen, but I'm not craving how I feel from it. I always feel f***ed up. And if I do have ramen for a video, I like to have it first thing in the morning, which is even crazier. But because that way, sorry if this is gross, I'll say it real quick, but I sh** it out before I go to sleep. So the effects of the MSG, I'm very sensitive to ramen, even though I love it. it usually takes 12 hours for anything. Okay, we'll stop. <laughs> Mm. This is my version of beer, the healthy version. Beer and steak. That's what I'm gonna put in this title. Look at my hair, I have a side sweep going on. See that? I have to cut my hair. Would I look cute like that? No, they all like the pointy teepee. And even if they don't like it, it's definitely more memorable. It's it's definitely, I call it the YouTuber haircut. Have you, ever, have you guys ever watched a channel called Joey Graceffa? He has that YouTuber haircut. You need it big, you need a thick, you need a wild. You need it to be YouTube. Nothing says YouTube better than something eccentric and um, over the top. I stand out from everyone else. I mean, I could have just normal cute hair, but 
Boring. You don't really get to see the where those peak is good. Hmm. Mm. That is some nice, tasty steak for me. <laughs> Ooh, this is a cilantro oil dip. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. So you guys, I'm going to Los Angeles anyway. I booked the um, I I booked a place to stay. And I'm meeting up with some uh, other YouTubers. I did, this was not like, ooh, we can pretend to es escape out of it in their hotel, whatever, for a day or two. Two weeks later, so I have to do stuff while I'm out here, because I'm never in California. I have a lot of friends here. There's always something to do. Besides dodge the, the tent cities. Something to do. <laughs> it's not funny. Oh. So. Mmm, that's a good dip. Uh, am I looking forward to sitting on the airplane? No. Am I looking forward to pulling a suitcase across an airport while my knees hurt? No. Do I like that I'm fat? Yes. Am I a hypocrite? Yes. <laughs> mm hmm. Honestly, we're just gonna make the most of it. Uh, I mean, I am seeing some friends, so that's good. And I would like to see someone else. I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to think of the people I know that are there. I'm not gonna say who I'm already, I'm already linking up with, but you guys have seen them on my channel already, so. Take a wild guess. Mmm. I fucking love steak. I actually re react very poorly to breaded chicken. Breaded fried chicken fucks me up. Consistently. Every time, no matter where it's from, no matter the restaurant, no matter if it's breaded original KFC or it's extra, extra crispy, extra deep fried churches, doesn't matter. Bread, fried chicken, fucks me up. Cheeseburgers resonate the best with my body. Same with tacos. I love Taco Bell. I'm excited for Fat Burger, honestly. This is why we go to LA. So I can get me some fat burger. See, I'm such a fucking fat ass. Makes life fun. <laughs> Makes life fun. And for you, you get to watch me. Like, there's Nick out in the wild. Oh, cheaper creepers. <clears throat> I speak in California. I did see the governor basically saying he is embarrassed by his state right now because of all the theft. Okay, we'll do something about it, please. <laughs> please. Anyway, so I don't want to just complain about California the whole time. So let's change the subject. <sighs> it's not even just California, it's a problem with our culture. We like to hand out excuses for people. Well, they just don't have enough. I'm like, in what functional society is this okay? It's just, ugh, makes me so disgusted. Anyway, new subject. Uh, let's talk about these greens here. Let's talk about my hair again, dang. Let's talk about the fact that sometimes when I make these videos for you, I like take a breath. I've been on a hamster wheel 
by my own choice, you know, um, for years. <clears throat> and, damn, looking back. Sometimes, you know what I do? I go, I go on the computer, I click on my channels, and I just scroll through the thumbnails. I scroll through, um, oops, I shouldn't be dipping this. What am I doing? Oh, it's pretty good, though. <laughs> Um, I just look at those thumbnails. I'm like, this is fucking art. I mean, some of those thumbnails are beautifully balanced, complimentary colors, the presentation. I'm like, and I put about one hour per thumbnail for pretty much every video. I made the pizza brighter. I made the cardboard box darker. It's a different face on a different body. I changed the layout like I did. And then I did color correction and then the backdrop, backdrop I made brighter. And then I brought the... Um, the brilliance down in my um, arms, like, I'm over there, click, 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 click. I'm literally like a graphic designer. It's kind of cool. Without having any training. I'm, but um, it's not even just the, yes, it's kind of cool to see all the art, like, just going through down my thumbnails, but just seeing, like, I have created all of this. <laughs> it's like, look at the receipts. Every single thumbnail represents a day, a journey, a meal, a meltdown, a cleanup, a digestion, a shit. <laughs> oh my, I just, I'm like, and it goes on and on. And then there's Nikocado 3, there's Nikocado. And those other channels, maybe once a month here and there on, I can't physically do all the channels all the time. I have my main, which is my baby, even though the pay sucks, cause you know, I'm too controversial, the advertisers don't like me. And the other ones, they're just there. <laughs> Someone was saying to me, a friend of mine who I was having a three-way conversation with another YouTuber, Mm -hmm. And we were talking about stats, algorithms, views, content, other YouTubers, other creators, trends, you know, all that YouTuber stuff you do. They're like, no, we don't know. <laughs> Sorry. It's like when you finally meet up with a coworker at the office, you're like, ah, oh, let's just vent and rant about the same things that affected both of us. You understand where I'm coming from, you know what I mean? So I was with a friend of mine and another YouTuber. And my friend's just like, this other YouTuber I'm friends with too. And my friend goes, he's like, Nick, you're just so lucky. You're so lucky. And then the other YouTuber goes, this is not luck. No one said, ah, I'm going to hand you this many followers today. You know what? You're special. You're very, very special. You will just be handed this. And... And then they were just like, yeah, no one said that to him. Nick is running circles around all of us. He is, he's a, like a steam engine, just doesn't break down, doesn't stop. Nothing runs him off the tracks. And um, it's very, very rare for YouTube. This is not luck. No one said, ah, let's just get you born into a famous family. So all you have to do is take a selfie on Instagram and boom, you're a millionaire. Like, they're like, no, this is, this, this was not luck. And then I said, well, I think maybe a little bit of luck, because I do know other, other people out there who really do try really hard, and they don't make it. And then, uh, and then the other YouTuber, I was kind of so, I was like, wow, pat on the back. They were just like, yes, but you are also smart, and you've made very wise choices, and everything has been strategized, and you are, you are where you are because of all of your effort, all of your time. Um, the countless hours you spend making per video, no one sees, but we know as YouTubers, they're like, this is not luck. No one said, oh, let me spin the bottle. De -de 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 -de. You get it. And my friend was like, oh yeah, that's true. And I'm like, it is true, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. Oh my God. I also do think it's a little luck too. I mean, but everyone's, like a spectrum. Everyone wakes up one day on a different dot on the map. Some of it's unfair. That's life. But 
there is something to be said about having more control of your destiny than you lead yourself to believe. I mean, I came from Ukraine. I was lucky. Orlin came from Colombia. He was lucky. We both met in America. Like, it's like... <clears throat> um, that right there helped us than my fellow family in Ukraine or his fellow family in Colombia. Absolutely. So there's luck, too. Ukraine, Russia, always fighting. Well, excuse me. Russia, always fighting. Ah. Uh, it's interesting. My country is always in the news. I don't say my country like I identify as. Okay, I was born there. Don't speak the language. Don't know anyone over there. Never been there ever since I left. Orleans dying to, t to go with me. He's like, I want to meet your daddy. <laughs> I'm like, shut up. He's like, I want to see you. I'm like, it's like I want to see what you're going to look like. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, but every time we've had the discussion about like, oh, let's think about it. It's just like, you type in Ukraine in the news. It's like, bombings, war. Unrest, poverty, crime. It's like, oh no, I mean, I probably shouldn't. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. This was a great meal. <clears throat> I've seen Orland's home country, but see, he has actual connection. He grew up there. He's a citizen. He was raised there most of his life. I have no connection with Ukraine. Zero memories that I can recall. Maybe something subconsciously that kind of spooky to think about too. Like your first moments on earth, you absorb something that sticks with you subconsciously for life, Dict dictates your personality and the way you respond to environments like, ooh, this is some deep shit. Maybe that's a little creepy to think about, but possibly. A therapist once told me that. The first couple months of a, ch a baby's life can dictate so much of its path forward. I'm like, shit, I must have been born in a restaurant. <laughs> Watching people eat pierogies and beets. He said, I can do better than that. God, I love food. Mm. Oh, that's very gross. I'm saving these sauces, they're so tasty. Um, I love being a mukbanger because I actually genuinely love eating food. Love, love, love. And what am I going to eat today? I'm still hungry. I've already had three breakfast burritos. Oh my god, I'm in this new morning routine. It makes me so excited. I wake up in the morning um, around 4 or 5 every single day. I've been going to sleep around 8 or 9 every single day. I mean, waking up at 4 a.m. is just like, boom, I'm alert, I'm bright, I'm ready to start my day. It's crazy. I know a lot of people don't aren't wired that way. <clears throat> What's I even saying? I forget it. Uh, well, thanks for hanging out with me. This has been... Um, a good 20 minutes hang out. I'm gonna post this today and I need to figure out what I'm eating today Oh, like I was saying I had three breakfast burritos today started my day with that and then I had this and what time is it? It's currently 1250 so um, It's like a cross or a square. Let's not say cross a, a square the fourth corner is balancing what you want to do Do I feel like uh, Out fire noodles tonight? No, I don't 
will it get me a lot of views on my main channel because I'm somehow for some reason famous for noodles? Yes, I am. So every once in a while I have to do what I don't want to do because I know that it's good for my channel. You know what I mean? Ugh, seafood's another one. Ugh, it's torture. I, I got on this seafood train where I was like really into seafood for a while. <sighs> that ship has sailed. It's, I never grew up eating it. It, it kind of grosses me out. Ugh. I mean, I do like king crab, fresh king crab, but it's so expensive. King crab legs. Okay, everyone, well, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm gonna put this on uh, YouTube for you guys now. Yeah, thanks for being here. <laughs> Thank you for all the support. You guys, I really appreciate the most because uh, you feed me, literally. <laughs> you feed my fat ass. It's your fault that I'm getting fat. He has this, this, sh this swarm of Ashleys that just enable him. I'm like, in a way, perhaps. <laughs> it's okay, we're gonna lose weight one day. It's gonna be epic. Um,